Welcome on into today's NBA pick video play for April 25th, 2018. In today's video, talking about this game five matchup here between the Utah Jazz and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Going to give our lean on where we feel the better value stands on the over under. Currently, the total at 207 and a half points. Utah coming to this one on the road, playing with house money. They're up three to one in the series. They just need to pick up one win in their final three matchups here. Going to be a tough one, of course, going on the road against a team that has their backs against the wall, but Utah getting the next game on their home court. So if they do fall today here, they're coming in as three and a half point dogs. They have a great shot at bouncing back on their home court where they've been playing some of their better ball in this series. In games three and four, the Jazz going on to take down the Thunder by finals of 115 to 102 with the over hitting in that game. And then in their last outing, 113 to 96, also hitting the over in that matchup. But Utah has been showing very well on the offensive side of the ball throughout this series. They've scored over 100 points every single matchup on the year. Utah, 19th in the league in scoring, putting up 104 points per game. Definitely more of a defensive-oriented group throughout the entire course of the regular season. First in the NBA in points allowed at 99.8 points per contest on average. But down the stretch run of the regular season, when Utah really came into their own and was playing some of the best ball out in the Western Conference, their offense took a big step in the right direction. They've been able to carry that over into postseason action. So the Oklahoma City Thunder, the home team here today, having their backs against the wall. They're going to be coming in focused, ready to go, giving everything they can to try to extend this series. Oklahoma City, they've been a tough team to figure out at times this year, but a lot of people felt like this group, even though they didn't necessarily always look great throughout the course of the regular season, that they have some of the best players in the league on their team with guys like Russell Westbrook and Paul George and that they'd be able to figure things out come postseason play. And that really hasn't been the case overwhelming, at least thus far in this series here against the Jazz. On the year, the Thunder, 12th in the league in scoring, putting up 108 points per game, 10th in total team defense, giving up about 104.4 points per contest. So you take what these two teams average offensively. You have Oklahoma City at about 108 points. Utah about 104 points. You add those up, you get 212 points, which is a little bit higher than the total that we're seeing coming into this one here at 207 and a half points. And also generally, we've been hitting more so the over in this series, especially with Utah taking their game to the next level, being able to carry that over into postseason play and looking great offensively in their last two wins at home against the Thunder. And even going back to game one on the road against Oklahoma City, a more higher scoring matchup with the home team, Oklahoma City going on to win that one by a final of 116 to 108. The only under that we saw hit thus far in the series was game two in Oklahoma City with the Thunder losing that one by a final of 95 to 102. So coming to this one, we expect a competitive matchup. Oklahoma City going to give everything they can. And we feel like the trend of this series is going to continue hitting more on the higher side of the scoring, especially with how much confidence Utah has been playing with on the offensive side of the ball. So with that being the case, we feel like the over 207 and a half points is going to be the better value play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. You disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our picks over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks guys for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.